What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. And guess what? We've got a whole brand new series of knives for you. I'm just sitting here uh, waiting on my... Oh, they're here. Oh. Tater scans for Mr. TC. That is beautiful. I've got my order of tater skins. There's a lot of them. We're going to take a look right after this. But before we get started, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you will know when we bring you tater skins. Now, without further ado, let's, let's, oh, let's light it up. So looking at this right here, we've got 11 new knives right here in one family. Uh, they're called the Tater Skins. That's what's on the box. And they're all going to come in our magnetic box. These were designed in-house. And we've got some really, really cool patterns in these Tater Skin knives. Um, we're going to dive right in and take a look at them. And the first one we're going to look at is the brown burlap small work knife and this thing's really cool so very much like a sod buster type uh type knife this is going to be a liner lock um and this is going to have that uh, tater skins micarta look to it we're going to take a look at it up close and uh, i really dig the shield on these the double r shield um they're set really flush they feel really good they just kind of disappear into that micarta. Um, and just really good look and feel from all of these. That's going to pop right open right there. Uh, these are coming with uh, 440 on the on the stainless steel. And uh, this one's coming in at $12.99. We're going to go over the specs of it right here. Now, that's a 2.75 inch drop point blade. It's 3.4 inches closed and weighs just 1.8 ounces. And uh, this one's coming in uh, with the match strike pulls, satin finish, the handles of the brown burlap micarta. And um, this thing is just really cool. Really great walk and talk. Sounds, feels really good. Um, coming in with the brass pens right there and uh, the brass liners as well. You can see those. <clears throat> And just a really cool knife. That one's coming in at twelve ninety nine. And like I said, we've got eleven of these, so we're gonna we're gonna work through each and every one of these and show them all up close. Um, up next, and this is one of my favorite ones right here. So this one's gonna be the brown burlap tater skin bow canoe. Now, isn't that a cool looking shape right there? Um, that's a really, really cool looking knife and we're going to take a look at it up close right here. This one's coming in at $15.99. Um, again, 440 on the stainless steel blades, uh, matte strike pulls, satin finish, and, uh, the baked potato tater skin micarta. This one's got the half stops. You saw it and heard it right there. <clears throat> really, really cool looking shape on this one. And I love the blade shape on this as well. Uh, so this one's 3.65 inches closed. It's got a 2.5-inch uh, spear point blade is the main blade. A 1.75-inch pin blade right there. Um, and coming in at just 3.4 ounces. With the, uh, with the half stops, it just feels so nice. And ergonomically, let's just look at it here. Um, with just one blade open. So ergonomically, that actually feels really good in the hand. Um, I really dig it. Uh, it's a little bit different shape, but I, I really dig the way that feels. And it just looks super cool. And you, everyone knows uh, with those match strike pulls and then being long pulls like that, I'm a sucker for it. I love it. Like I said, fifteen ninety nine on that one right there. Working through each and every one. Now, I'm going to show the most unique patterns first, the ones that are a little bit different than what we traditionally see. So that was the bow canoe. 
Um, up next, I'm going to show you one here, uh, and this one's really cool. This is the moose pattern, but this one's a little bit different than a traditional moose. Um, I, I love that it's got a very symmetrical, almost cigar shape kind of feel to it. We're going to look at it up close right here. Again, with the double R shield. And uh, these are coming in uh, with the uh, straight R or slant R bolsters, depending on which model it is. Um, and this one actually has the cutout. So you can see the cutout right there in the handle um, to get to those match strike pulls. Again, with the satin finish, 440 blade steel. And this is a really, really nice moose pattern right here. Um, we're going to go over the measurements. It's uh, 4.25 inches closed. It's got a 3.25 inch clip point blade and spay blade. So we can look top down here and with our trusty handy dandy NAFS ruler, 3.25 inches right there. You can see it on the camera. 3.25 inches right there. 3.25 inches right there. On the clip point and spay blades. Whew. Good thing I didn't do those both at the same time. I might have uh, might have made a mistake there. That, I did, 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 mm -mm. Nope. Sure don't. I, I left it at home today. So that one is coming in at fourteen ninety nine for a nice, definitely full-size traditional folder right there. Uh, really digging that one. Um, also... We've got the lady leg, and that one's really cool. I'm digging that one right there. Um, now, we don't do the lady leg in absolutely all of our patterns. Uh, this one we did, and I'm, I think this one's going to be really popular. This one's coming in at 1099. Got the clip point blade right there. Feels good in the hand. It's a really cool conversation piece. And uh, again, with the double R shield. Uh, brass pins and liners, nickel silver on the bolsters, and uh, really, really dig that pattern. That's another one with the long pull in it. Know that I like that. We've also got the traditional um, full-size Stockman right here. Now, the Stockman is coming in at $15.99. We're going to take a look at that one right there. So, again, with the half stops. And... You know, we've talked about this a lot before. Um, we really uh, take pride in the fact that we we take that little extra step in making sure that uh, the fit and finish is where it needs to be. And half stops is just one small part of that because um, that's not something that everybody does. That's not something that you have to do, um, but it's just a little extra uh, that we want to add in there. Uh, now, this one's coming in at fifteen ninety nine. Um, it's going to be a traditional stockman pattern, um, full size stockman pattern. We're going to go over the blade specs on this one. So this one's got the 3.25 inch clip point blade, a two and a half inch sheep's foot and a 2.25 inch spay blade right there. Um, making this a, a really, really nice stockman pattern. Um, that's going to be one of my favorites in this series. Absolutely. Um, so we're just not even halfway through. We've got several others coming up here. Now, most of the rest of these are going to be traditional patterns um, that you know and love. Uh, we do have a single blade bow trapper right here. Now, uh, there has always been a uh, conversation on the size of the actual bow trapper. So we're going to go over the specs of this one right here as we take a nice close look at that one right there so this one's coming in at seven inches overall and we're going to go to our top down camera bring in our nafs ruler right there this one's coming in with a three inch clip point blade right there 0 0.07 inches thick on the blade stock four inches closed and seven inches overall um, with the half stops, making this a really, really nice single blade knife right there. Also, we're going to have a more of like a, a sow belly trapper.
That's that's a better way of putting it. So a sow belly trapper right here. Um, really, really digging this thing. So let's take a look at that sow belly trapper right there. That's a cool look right there. And a really, really nice looking knife. Um, this one's coming in with a 2.75 inch clip point and spay blades. It's 3.75 inches closed. And uh, also coming in with the 440 on the blade steel. Uh, nickel silver on the uh, bolsters and brass pins and, and liners. Really, really digging this knife. And love the swedging on top and the crowning on top of that blade. I mean, that's another step in these knives that doesn't have to be done. Um, but it just really adds to the fit and finish. And these all have a super awesome feel. We've also got a traditional trapper right here. Um, and the cool thing about this one is I really dig this. It's got the nail neck and it's got the long pull on both blades right here. So there's the clip point blade. You see the nail neck right there, the long pull right there. Also on the spay blade right here, you've got the nail neck up here. You've got the long pull right there, and I really dig that. That's going to be a traditional trapper pattern. Really love that one. Um, so that trapper is coming in at fourteen ninety nine. Now, one of my favorites and one that I'm super excited to see, and that's going to be this one, the Congress. Um, so I've said this before. Uh, I, I really hate that. Congress knives aren't more popular than they are. And that's why, you know, we don't do them in all of our patterns. Um, but I really, really dig this Congress, especially um, with the satin finish on the blades. I think this one's really, really well done. And I just love a Congress knife. This one's coming in at fifteen ninety nine, dollars 440 again on the blade steel. It's 3.75 inches closed. It's got the two uh, the two point two five inch spear point and sheep's foot on the main blades, and then the two two inch pin blades right there. And again with the swedging on top, um, just really really tops these things off, and really dig that knife right there. I love the way it's spaced. I love the way it's laid out. Just beautiful. Another really cool one that we've got in this series and that I'm really excited about is going to be the large toothpick. Now, I know a lot of people are really going to be digging this one. I think it's really cool. Let's take a look at that one up close right here. So this is going to be the large toothpick. This one features a four inch clip point blade. It's five inches overall. Let's pull that puppy out. And yes, this single blade toothpick has a half stop. And look at that puppy right there. Barely fits in the frame. Just barely fits in the frame. That is a really, really cool knife right there. Feels good in the hand. Um, again, with the match strike pulls. And uh, really, really dig that thing right there. That one's coming in at $13.99. And we've just got one more to get to. So, like I said before, these are our tater skins. And, of course, we had the bow canoe. We've also got the traditional canoe right here. That's the last one we've got to go over. This one's coming in at $13.99. Let's take a look at it up close right here. Now, this one is three and a half inches closed, weighs 2.7 ounces. It's got a two and a half inch spear point blade right there and a 2.25 inch pin blade right there. Again, can't say enough about the fit and finish on these with the satin finish it really really goes with that brown burlap micarta um, and these tater skin scales um, so beautiful beautiful knives right there like i said this one's coming in at 13.99 and that's going to be all of them so quick recap we've got the traditional canoe we've got the bow canoe we've got the lady leg we've got the large toothpick we've got the congress We've got the traditional trapper. We've got the bow trapper, single blade. We've got the sow belly trapper. We've got the moose pattern, nice thick moose. We've got the traditional stockman, full-size stockman. 
and we've got the small work knife, the the Sodbuster Junior, if you will. Um, so really, really cool setup right there from Rough Rider. We're really excited to be announcing these. Now, keep an eye out for these. These are all of our samples. We don't actually have these in yet. They are going to be in stock very, very soon. So keep an eye out for those. We're really excited about them. Check them out. Let us know what you think about those in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think about that handle material? Um, what do you think about all of these different patterns and the fit and finish? How do you think? Uh, do you like the way they look? Um, we want to hear all of your comments and all of your questions. Uh, we're going to be, we read through all of that stuff and we want to hear all about it. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, folks, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts, like a tater skin, then we carry. All right, all right, all right. These aren't going to taste that good, Greg. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs>